shoes on my chum. You know I was raised on a farm. Oh, she tells her friends I'm perfect and that I love her town. But you know me better than that. Mr. Strait in concert. And you know, uh, that's the way folks are used to seeing George Strait performing his hits before an audience. But soon, George's fans will see him in a different role. This is something we've talked about a few times on the show, but we're really going to unload a little bit on what he's doing. It's acting. He's he, in a movie. He has his first leading man role in yeah. the movie. And he's very excited about it. Now, uh, I, I think they're about 25 days into the 40-day shoot schedule. Mm -hmm. I went to Fort Worth to the Stockyards area where yep. Billy Bob's is and they were shooting. Now, I have to tell you, I was a little dis disappointed at first Why? because I wanted to see George acting in a scene. But the producer and the director said, you know, we couldn't see it and we couldn't shoot it because they want to build the suspense. They want to make sure that the really? first time the audience sees George acting, it's in the movie. So I understood well, that. That's well, how, fine. Well, how's George think he's doing as far as acting? He doesn't know because you... they won't let him see the dailies. What? <laughs> Wait, you mean every day they, they shoot the yes. movie and... And dailies are something you watch right after and the actors shoot. go and they kind of look at their work for the day they won't let him see, they won't let him see it because they don't want him to be self-conscious oh, now okay. these are some very good reasons but they did allow us to interview george and follow him around which ain't a bad day's work i'll tell you that <laughs> yeah, right. so here's our report from the set of pure country <laughs> is used to having this much attention when he's on tour but these days his tour of duty is on the set of a major motion picture this film is the singer's very first venture into acting all right let's be honest about this thing are you good hey, i'm always honest what's <laughs> that are you a good actor i don't know you have to see the movie <laughs> hey camera mark George stars as what else? A country music singer who's fed up with superstardom, changes his looks, and retreats to a life of obscurity as a hired ranch hand. Now, someday, would you like to go to work on a ranch and be totally anonymous? Oh, I will be. <laughs> I will be. It's gonna happen, right? Yeah. Why did you want to do a movie? I just wanted to, just to see if I could, and, uh, you know, we've been thinking about it for about two or three years, and opportunity came up, and uh, so I just wanted to give it a try. Get the other camera up for the ATV. I was very nervous the first day, but we got to rehearsing, and, and I settled down, and I feel pretty comfortable now, and that's... Not totally at ease, but I mean, you know, when you walk in there and there's all these people watching, you're going, I wonder what he's going to do here, you know? <clears throat> it's a little bit nerve-wracking, but... Well, is this movie thing a, um, just a diversion for you, or is it a career move? Well, I wouldn't say it's a career move. Um, I just have to wait and see what happens, see how it turns out. I'm not going to say I'm going to do movies if this thing really stinks, which I don't think it's going to. Nice, nice, very nice. Good. <laughs> Co-starring with George are actresses Leslie Ann Warren and Isabel Glasser. Now, a lot of the female country fans want to know, are you the lucky lady who has a love scene with George Strait? I don't know if I want to let that cut out of the bag. <laughs> Let's just say it's a possibility. <laughs> the name of the film is Pure Country, and producer Jerry Weintraub of Diner and Karate Kid fame thinks Strait is a pure actor. And I think you're going to see a, a big, big movie star come out of the country and western field. A big movie star, not just a movie star, but a big movie star. You know, up there with the Mel Gibsons and Kevin Costners and... People like that. That's how good I think he is. That is a powerful statement. Yeah, well, that's how good I think he is. I think he's really, really good. So will George Strait go down somewhere in movie history? I doubt it. You know, if you're going to go to the movie and expect to see a De Niro or uh, Al Pacino or Robert Redford or Clint Eastwood, I mean, don't even go. Let's say you're the critic and you have to write a review of this movie and of your performance. What would you write? I would write that... This guy is so good in this movie. 
You have to go see it. That's what I'd write. <laughs> and, and what if I hate reading bad reviews. <laughs> do you really? Oh, I just hate it. What are you going to do if somebody just rakes you over the car? Well, I'm sure they will. There's no question in my mind that that'll happen. I won't read it. No, all right, I got a few Good. questions here. Uh, mm -hmm. The roping scene and all that—that that was him. That was him. Oh, yeah. he's a real cowboy. Well, he's he's into real team roping, so no stunt doubles for that. For what him. do you What do you hear about this love scene? Okay, now George told me most emphatically that this is not a traditional movie love scene. He did not want to do anything to embarrass his family. Mm -hmm. So if there is anything, there might be a kiss or something, but that's about like, it. Something like that? Something like that. that. Okay. Something like that. This movie is coming out, by the way, in uh, in October, and I cannot wait to see it. They have got me in so much suspense yeah. about this. Sounds like he's having a lot of fun, too. He's having a lot of fun, and he's very he's very calm about it, okay. as George usually is about things. All right. Things. It's called Pure Country, right? Pure All Country. Right.